Programming the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula is very useful for finding solutions to quadratic equations, but it has many components and signs that give chances to make errors. A great feature of your TI-83 or TI-84 series calculator is that you can write a program for the quadratic formula to use that is faster and won't have nearly as many opportunities for mistakes. So you start by pressing the program key, PRGM, here. You may have a list of programs here already like this one or have no programs installed on the calculator. Arrow twice to the right to get to the new menu. Press the enter key at the bottom of the calculator. You should see the blinking cursor with the alpha A highlighted. Enter a program name using the letters above and to the right of the keys. It has to be a name with eight characters or fewer. Roots might be a good name for this one. Press enter. The blinking cursor after the colon is inviting you to start inputting the program code. Press the program key. Arrow once to the right to get to the input output commands. Since input is highlighted and we want to use input, press enter. Enter a quotation mark by pressing the alpha key, then the plus key on the right side of the calculator. Make the letter A by pressing the alpha key, then the math key. Go to the test menu by pressing the second key, then the math key. Since the equal sign choice is highlighted, press enter. Enter a space by pressing alpha, then the zero key at the bottom of the keypad. Enter the second quotation mark by pressing alpha, then the plus key. Press the comma key just above the 7 key. Make an A by pressing the alpha key, then the math key. Go to the next line of code by pressing enter, and press the program key. Arrow once to the right for the input output menu, press enter. Place a quotation mark by pressing alpha, then the plus key. Place the letter B by pressing alpha, then the apps key, just to the right of the math key. Go to the test menu by pressing second, then math. Press enter. Make a space by pressing alpha, then the zero key. Make the right quotation mark by pressing alpha, then the plus key. Press the comma key. Create the B character by pressing alpha, then the apps key. Start the third line of code by pressing enter. Press the program key. Arrow once to the right for the input output menu. Press enter. Make a quotation mark by pressing alpha, then the plus key. Make the letter C by pressing alpha, then the program key. Go to the test menu by pressing second, then the math key. Press enter. Make a space by pressing the alpha key, then the zero key at the bottom. Make the right quotation mark by pressing alpha, then the plus key. Press the comma key. Create C by pressing the alpha key, then the program key. Go to the next line of code by pressing the enter key. Press the program key. Arrow once to the right to the input output menu. Arrow down to three, display. Press enter. Prepare to enter a string of text by pressing second, then the alpha key. Enter the text as follows. The roots are. Press the alpha key to unlock alpha mode. Press the comma key. Enter the expression for one of the roots of the quadratic formula as shown here. Open parentheses, negative b, plus, square root of b, squared, minus 4ac, close double parentheses, divide, open parentheses, 2a, close parentheses. Enter a comma. 
Enter the word and in quotation marks. Enter a comma. Enter the second root as shown. Open parentheses, negative b minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. Close double parentheses, divide, open parentheses, 2a, close parentheses. Congratulations, you have written your program to calculate roots or solutions of quadratic equations. You can get out of programming mode by pressing the second key, then the mode key next to it that accesses quit. Let's use the program. Pick out a quadratic equation in standard form such as x squared plus 4x minus 45 equals 0. For this equation in standard form, a equals 1, b equals 4, and c equals negative 45. Press the program key. And here you see your program. On this calculator, it's program 4, roots. Choose the program by arrowing down to it and pressing enter, or just press the number of that program. Press enter. Put in 1 for A, then press enter. Put in 4 for B, then press enter. And put in negative 45 for C. Press enter. The solutions are 5 and negative 9. You can easily graph the equation as a function to see if you get the same answer. Let's try this one. Negative x squared minus 3x minus 4 equals 0. For this equation, a equals negative 1, b equals negative 3, and c equals negative 4. Enter negative 1 for a, negative 3 for b, and negative 4 for c in the program. Press enter. This error message response, non-real answer, means no real solutions. For there to be no real solutions, the discriminant b squared minus 4ac must be a negative number. We can check by graphing. Enter the equation in the y equals menu. Press the graph key. We see that the curve does not touch the x-axis, so there's no real solution just as the program told us. Keep on using this program. Make changes to it if you would like. Keep on learning. This has been Programming the Quadratic Formula in the Graphing Calculator. Thanks for viewing.